Hi everybody and welcome back to the Texas Suburban Homestead. Today, grip modules for the SIG P320. Hi everybody and welcome back. So what we've got today is we're talking about grip modules for the SIG P320. So this is my original one. Um, I've, I've left the, the mechanism in there so that I can differentiate easily during my video. This is a medium. It automatically comes with the medium for you. And just to let you know, I've got really big hands. I, I don't know what other people's hands are, um, but as I shake other people's hands, my hands seem really big. And so, uh, just to, if you're looking for a comparison, I measured and from where my radius meets my wrist, doesn't matter the bones for you, but from where my radius of my arm meets my wrist and comes in to the tip end of my middle finger is uh, eight and seven eighths inches. As I spread across like this and go tip of my thumb to the tip of my pinky, it is 10 and a quarter. So just to let you know, a lot of times they measure uh, hand sizes in NFL players in the combine and stuff. And I think last year's average for linemen was less than 10 inches. So I've got pretty good size mitts. One of the things that's bothered me is if I don't have the perfect grip on this, I tend to pull my shots a little bit low and to the right because I, as you can see, I am a lefty. Um, so SIG doesn't have adjustable back straps on this, as you well know, but what they will do is they will sell you a second differential size. This one is a large, I'll get a better video of it there. I don't know if that'll focus, but this is a large, so what I'm gonna do today is, I've changed this out and I've shot it. Um, I like it, but I don't know how much different the size is. So, for any of you considering, this video's for you. We're gonna take out the calipers, we're gonna measure, and we're gonna see exactly what the difference is on the grip for the medium versus the large. Okay, so here's what we've got. We have our medium on the left. We have our full size on the right. And what I did is I went and you can see, I wrote my measurements down and I wrote my averages. So what we have is I took five different measurements of the grip and where your hand actually is placed. I took the grip width, which here, let me use the large because it's easier. I took the grip width. I took the grip depth. I took the webbing indent width, so right there where your thumbs are going to go. I took the depth of that from kind of back here by the beaver tail all the way up inside the trigger guard. And then from the back of the beaver tail here area where the webbing of your hand goes all the way up to the front of the trigger guard. So I'm going to scroll these through, but let me just go ahead and give you the the ins and outs. There's not a lot of difference, which I was fairly surprised by, by the feel of it in my hand. Okay. Um, you wouldn't think that a 10th of an inch here and a hundredth of an inch there would make that big a difference, but it really does. The large feels substantially larger, even though it really isn't. So, as you've seen, as I've rolled these through, you're looking at hundreds of an inch difference. So let's take a, while we can do this on camera, let's, let's hope I can do this on camera. So take a look at our grip depth, okay? This isn't gonna read the same because I'm trying to get it on camera, but about 2.27-ish uh, there on camera. And again, I'm doing this on camera versus not. And then, 2.098 there, okay? So, realistically, you're, you're talking about a tenth of an inch difference. 
but that tenth of an inch is you have to account for the the circumference of your hand going around it so realistically you're not talking about a tenth of an inch difference you're talking about circum circumferentially is that a word um a much bigger difference and you feel that even though it may not measure out that big another one of the biggest differences from kind of back there by our webbing and remember you're not going to see the same numbers because i'm doing this on camera um 4.094 up to about 4.2075 um and these are all in inches again you have to keep in mind that's about a, a about a tenth of an inch difference but what you've got to account for is you've got your hand already making up the circumferential difference around the grip to get up there and that tenth of an inch difference really makes a huge impact so let me run these numbers through again and, and you can kind of take these how you will but i will say i was fairly impressed the medium always felt a bit small for me the large actually fits me pretty well even though it's measuring out not that big a difference but when you get to something as as precise as these you have to take into account the complete fit in the hand okay and that's that's essentially what sig has done they're not measuring out that big but they're taking into account the fit in the hand and that's essentially what we're looking for whenever we make these changes isn't it um so i hope this video was helpful it um it really was very telling for me as i measured these out i thought it was going to be a much much bigger difference and as you've seen linearly it's not that big a difference but it makes a huge difference in your hand so if you've got big hands and you have the sig p320 or even the 250 i believe I would take a look. I think the, the changing out the lower grip module may be of benefit to you. Um, I've actually shot the, the large several times and I've gone back and forth. That's why, that's why my uh, trigger mechanism is in the medium as I've, I'm going back and forth right now. Um, I shoot significantly better with the large because it fits my hand just a little bit better. Um, I, I'm not pulling them low left like I do with this one because I, I don't have to have my hand in just just the perfect spot anymore. Um, I can just shoot more instinctually now because my hand fits the mechanism a little bit better. So lower grip module change. If you've got big hands like I do, I would say consider it. I think it's $30 well spent. Um, you're going to shoot better. It's going to be more enjoyable, or at least it has been for me. Okay. So again, if you like the video, leave a comment down below. If you've changed them out, if you've gone down to the small or up to the large, let me know what you think. Um, this may not be my best production video, but I think it's great content. And so we're going to do these videos like this from time to time. All right, everybody, leave a comment. Give me a thumbs up if you like it, and uh, we'll see you on the next video.